see, though, the Getcher's getting some good looks at the bucket. They just got to knock them down. Now, shooting wise, I think they probably have more shots at the bucket than Blake Peek has right now. So it'll be interesting to see if they can start getting out of there. Probably, but Peterson not warmed up yet. Uh, Peterson's got what? A little missed layup and a little missed finger roll? And yeah, but you know Zach. It'll come. It'll come. <laughs> and there, you know, you won't even notice it. Pretty soon he's got 20 plus points, right? Yeah. But he's got the opening opening quarter jitters out of the way here. So we'll see Sheriff's that. doing a good job of letting them play this evening so far. Yeah. I noticed there was a, a couple picks down here on the other end where Vader was getting knocked around a little bit. And they was letting go on like a moving pick. And so they're, they're not calling it real tight yet. Not yet. They'll tighten it up in the second half probably. Let things go a little bit in the first while everybody's getting warmed up, right? Don't want anybody getting in foul trouble too early. So we see little uh, Austin Miller, <laughs> call him Little, is listed at 5'6", John, but I just I swear he doesn't go over 5 foot. Based on the size of the rest of these guys out here. He's probably 5'3", five, 5'4". Five, yeah, he just looks 5 foot. But what are you supposed to do? I mean, you get that ball so low that nobody else can reach it. Graham up top with it, going to go to the hole. That's and gets that one to drop. That's the whole strategy, right? right? The hoop, try to get Graham, I think, wanted a foul. Mitchell bring it across. Looking to set things up. I'm not sure what they're he says, to come on, boys. Make it happen. Not too much movement. Over to Rams. Oh, Kaiser was wide open. And he knew it, too. Yeah, good pass by Rams. Bad reception by Austin. I'm trying to keep track of the turnovers. I got five for Glacier Peak, and I don't remember one for uh, Marysville yet, John. Graham up top. It's going to go to the hole again. Oh! Kaiser going to take the charge. Offensive foul. Good job by Austin getting in the way there. He was there a long time, too. He was, and that's what's going to make the difference when they get in position down there. Though. I probably could have counted to two. He probably had two seconds waiting for that one to get there. Checking in for the charge for Jordan Hurtado, number 25. Back Grim going to the hole hard, though. He just needs to pull up a little better and not drift so much on that, and he would have had that bucket. So Omar Romulus is in the game. Omar Sakin Romulus with the bright neon shoes, John. Yeah, I saw Omar warming up. He looks like a good player. Surprised he wasn't starting. Well, let's see what he can do now. Bader on the side of the ball. Back out to Rams for three. Ah, oh, off the rim, but Kaiser pulls it down and puts it in. No bucket. They're going to call Kaiser for the foul. Oh, Kaiser for the foul? Yeah. Wow. I thought he had a hold of the ball. Oh, they're going to. Fouls on Grizzlies, number 13, Austin Kaiser. Guys are going to take a seat. Ty Chelsvick going to check in. Check in for the Grizzlies, number four, Tyler Chelsvick. Well, that's interesting to see Chelsvick come off the bench first there, John. Let's see what he's got for us. Oh, Ty's got a little something. Jordan with the ball. Rams going to take it away. Going to be a blocking foul on somebody down here, I think. Uh, it's away three in the, the key by a lady. Oh, three in the key. Here we go. Grizzly ball. You're right. First turnover from Marysville. Vader will bring it across. Inside to Zach. Back to Vader. Who's going to pop the three ball. Not going to drop. Oh, Rams almost had a put back there. Or a foul. He was over his back. But he got wow. it. He over, the, over the back is not a foul. He didn't touch him. He just came over his back. That's here. fine. That's not a foul. Yeah. Checking back in for the Chargers, number 11, Xander Seymour. As long as the Sheriff's on the right GP side. GP with see the it. ball out of bounds down low. Definite scoring opportunity. Oh. Didn't go for the easy shot. There it is. Vader nice. gets it to fall. Drew, Drew having a good night so far. From Mitch Foreman. Nice pass by Mitch. Mitch always very generous with the ball. Jordan trying to get a drive on Rams. Not happening. Back out to Romulus. Mitch going to get in his face. Not going to happen for him. 
Jordan with the ball again. He's going to pop one just inside the three. Not going to drop. Foreman with the rebound. He's going to look to push. Not happening. He wanted Jelsvik. His coverage is a little too tight. Ooh. Saved by the ref. Into Vader. Oh, unable to get it to drop. Gets his own rebound. Not able to get that one. And Rams, and Rams with the putback. Well, timeout from Marysville. Timeout, Gatchel. 22 11. GP up by 11 points. 526 left in the half. Well, we got doubled up scores. Two twos and one one. And three fouls apiece. Light on the foul department. Yeah, real light on the foul. And four team fouls overall. So. Very interesting. Score about what I expected. Yeah, it's starting out a little bit close. Uh, it will gradually grow if it stays the same kind of the game. Uh, it, this game would be a lot tighter, but uh, Getchell just having a little trouble knocking some buckets down. They've been getting good looks. High percentage shots, they're just not dropping for them. The last few shots in shot from outside were looking like four shots, though. Uh, they're trying to push those three-point shots. And I don't think either of the Samer brothers have hit a bucket yet. No, I don't think so. Let's see what kind of shooting they'll come down here with this time. Here's Ron that's coming into the court with the ball. Number 23 for the Grizzlies, Mitch Foreman. His Foreman with the push. Oh, and they threw the ball away. Swept up by Rams. Vader with one of the Samer brothers on him. Over to Mitch. Back to Vader. In the sack. Who puts it in with the lefty. Nice and soft off the glass. That's a little pick and roll they were trying to work down there a while ago, John. Yeah, they finally got it to work. Samer with the ball. Oh, going to get fouled by Drew. Yeah, he put his shoulder into him and threw the ball up. He's going to probably shoot two. Or maybe not. Nope. Nope, on the ground. Grimm going to check back in. He's going to put Jordan on the bench. Nice three. Didn't drop. Nope. Rebound Rams. They'll push the ball. Chelsvik. Oh. Unable to nice wrangle ball. that. Rams for three, but doesn't get it to fall. Rebound Grimm. will bring it across. It's going up against Mitchell. The hoop again. He wants to go to the hoop. Yep. Rebound. Zach, long yeah. ball. Nice Vader trying to get back to the hole, and he does. Oh, and he gets hammered. Nice move into the paint, though. By Omar Sakin Romulus. You got to get that full name in there occasionally. I like it. That was our number 21 for the tournament. Those neon shoes got him in the mix there, John. Drew Vader at the line. Vader at the charity stripe. He, he's the only one from Marysville to get to. We got the GP memo for me on tonight, John. Yeah. He's also got the shin protectors just like Vader wears. Oh, a little roll around the rim there, Vader. Drew with nice touch on the ball. Miller going to check in, Checking as well as Cody Trump. Prost. Number 31. Bader with the back end. Knocks it down. Drew looking solid. All that work in the offseason paying off for him. Roast almost bites it. Miller with the ball. Back over to pros, off. Oh. That'd be the kick on tie. He kicked it with his knee, I think. It's Chargers basketball. Isn't that just a deflection? A illegal deflection on the leg. Up top, Grimm with the ball. Oh. 
He's going to throw it up. Not going to fall. Rebound Rams. Like you said, John, they're getting the shots off. They're not dropping. Inside to Zach. Oh, Zach, you got to drop those. He gets a second chance at it. Gets, that, gets the harder one to fall. Yeah, he got fouled a little bit on the first one. They didn't call it. But, uh, Coach Coach Shu wants a timeout. 28-11. GP went on a little seven-point run there. Yep. Or a six-point run. Yeah, working hard on my mathematical skills. I've been on vacation, Ron. You've been back in the pit for a while. Back. Well, if you were taking the time out for Mary to get to John, what would you tell those kids right now? Well, I'd tell Graham not to throw up garbage like that last shot, get better looks at the basket, and then they're just going to have to settle down and knock those down. Better defense, though. Uh, Getchell needs to put a little more pressure on the ball. They've got some quick players. They need to use their quickness to their advantage. I think they're right there. So they're still going to try that drive into the lay up uh, into the basket. Of course, they're still trying to get that lay up, trying to get that foul on the inside. Yeah, on the inside, they, they're, they've got a it's definite disadvantage. They probably just got to, I'd probably front uh, Zach and just not let him get the ball and make the rest of the team beat me. But, but Nathan Grimm is probably the fastest kid on the court right now, and he's got to use that speed to his advantage. I think he's the highest scorer right now for Getchell. He just can't get in foul trouble. Well, let's see what they came out of the huddle with here. It might be those shoes. Those shoes look fast. Grimm with the ball up top. Over to Jordan. Jordan's got fast shoes. <laughs> Prost. Back to Seymour. Back over to Jordan. Rams almost took that one away. He'd have been gone. Seymour with a three ball, and he's fouled. He's going to get a few shots out of that one. I think he'll get Vader caught him on the arm. Yeah, he jumped all over him. I don't know if we got that on camera. That was on him. Right on him. Came down on top of him. Drew with a little too much. <laughs> The odds he'll make all three, John. No, he's not making that one. So he's 0 for 1 on those three. Needs a little more leg in that shot. Yeah. Off the front of the rim. Xander Samer. That one rolled around and flipped out. Checking into the game for the Chargers, number 13. We've got a bunch of little, little... Grizzly cheerleaders running around here. They're going to showing up out here at halftime, John. They're yeah. about two feet tall and full of energy. I think they've been to a cheerleading seminar or camp or something over the Christmas break, so they'll be all fired up, Ron. Drop the third one, John. Got one of those in. Mitch telling everybody to move down court. He'll bring it up by himself. The roll back to Chelsmick. Oh, looked like he got fouled in there. He did get fouled because he overshot the ball. Everybody got a chance at it. They just need to grab hold of it. Uh, all that bounce around. Vader almost. Vader got a rebound and almost put back, but was able, unable to get it to drop. Oh, we'll restart the shot clock. Chelsmick looked like he got fouled in there. Well, he, he didn't shoot that hard. Rams for three, and he gets fouled. That'll be Caleb Selmer with the foul, or Seymour. I want to put an L in there for some reason. L. So Rams is going to shoot three free throws. What do you got on his percentage out of three? Rams is going to knock all three down. All right. Here's one. Right off set so far. It's like I can see into the future, Ron. Future number two on the line. See that? Little drop, little rattle and drop, but it's in, John. All right. All the money's on this ball. And the thief is checking in. Number 25, Trey Chambers. Chambers. Chambers, first time off the bench tonight. And for the Chargers. Miller checking back in. Austin Miller. Going to put Jordan Hurtado back on the bench. Those uh, shiny shoes off the court, so they won't distract us anymore, John. <laughs> It's up 
and in. A prediction by McLean. Did I did I call it? You did. Well done, John. Miller bringing the ball up here. Ooh, almost loses the ball. Jordan wanting to go to the hole bad. Gets blocked by Zach Peterson, but I think I think it's going to be. I think unreal. Rams got a little foul in the middle of that. Yep. yep. Ram Ramsey not trusting his help, wanting to keep him from getting past him, and he was already gone. He should have just pulled up at that point. He was past him, should have let him go. Besides, Peterson was going to knock that one out. Jordan gets it to roll. Looking at 31-13. GP up. 2-14 left in the first half here. Jordan gets the back end. Ball inbounded to Mitchell Foreman. Oh, Mitch almost turned it over. Almost. Over to Zach. Up to Rams. One on two. two One on, on two. three. <laughs> he decides to pull it back out. Wise Good choice. Good choice. Mitchell set things up. Look, we got a little more active defense. Oh, and Graham almost with the steal. 157 left to go in the first half here, second quarter. Also number 15, David Inbound to Zach Peterson with a little baby hook. Not going to drop. Nice board there. Nice rebound <laughs> by Rams. And with a little put back. Well done. He wasn't sure uh, Zach was going to make Graham that. up top with the ball. Over to Jordan. He'll pop the three ball. Not going to fall. Rebound. Zach Peterson. Zach already rebounded in double figures, I bet. Oh, I'm sure of that, yeah. I mean, he's just been sweeping up the boards. So we're not seeing Mitchell going to go all the way yeah. with a nice little finger roll. He did says, not, there it is. Did not even use the glass. He was all up on that rim. Made it look like he could be could have been going all night long, right? Yeah. Anytime he wanted. Miller back to Grimm. Grimm looking to go to the middle. Not happening. Nice ball handling by Marysville there. Pulls up. Grimm will shoot. Ah, yeah. gets it to drop. That's the shot yeah, they need to make. Need yeah, to make. that was kind of lucky. It was off the glass from the side. That was... Need a little luck. That was just a kiss off the glass. Mitchell with the ball up top. 42 seconds. Gets it into Zach Peterson. Peeks his way around. <laughs> he just walked around. They just walked around Samer there. Yeah, Samer wasn't moving his feet fast enough. Got to spread out and be a little wider if you want to keep Zach from going around you. Zach could score all night long like that. Oh, we're going to get a hold on Mitch Borman. Shooting one and one. Number 23, Mitch Grimm going to go to the line. Nathan Grimm at the line for the Chargers. Two. Mitch has two fouls. Right? Just two. He's still safe. Coach going to leave him in as long as he promises not to make any more in the last 26 seconds. I would hope so. <laughs> if I were Mitch, I would not. <laughs> not getting near anybody right now. Nice. Grim knocks it down. Mark both of them down. Jordan Hurtado checking in for the Chargers. 25, Jordan Hurtado. Putting in a little height for the last 26 seconds. He's trying to keep from getting that shot off. Try to keep the ball away from the big man, Zach Peterson. Mitch going to finally cross the midline strike. Looking to get the last shot off this half. Over to... Chambers down to Rams. Oh, going to call him for a travel. Didn't look like a travel to me. He must, have, must have slid that foot on the, on the uh, fake move down the base. That is some really good vision by the sheriff. Oh, he was right Check there. The ball game. Number three. Bobby, Bobby Brooks, Brooks in for 55 seconds. Brooks John. in for, for 5.5 seconds. Yes, 5.5 seconds. Just right. to shut things down. Oh, look, look at, at Samer going to the hole. And got fouled. That is exactly what Coach did not want. And got fouled. GP caught with their shorts down there. And that was Ty Chelsea. Got to move those feet and get the body in the way. 
Don't let him slide by and then foul him and let him go to the hole. Oh. Off the rim. Well, it wasn't a three-point play anyway, and that's the half. So. Samer just having a tough time with the shooting other than layups. I think they're going to keep playing that same game when they come out, John. They're going to keep driving. 37-20, 17-point ball game right now. GP up. Uh, Not quite as uh, uh, big a lead as I thought it would be at the half. Well, but you double that score, right? You're looking at 44. Yeah, or I think no, it's 64, right? I think they're going to play. My on. math is still rusty. It's still rusty, yeah. It'll be a little bit, uh, little bit uh, uh, tougher in the second half, I think. They're going to come out and play a little tighter defense. Do you think so? I, I would predict that GP is going to start running away with it in the second half. I think they're going to get a talk or two. So we're about to uh, take a break here and watch a bunch of cheerleading going on. So, uh, so we'll be back uh, just before the start of the second half. Remember, you're watching SDSPN.com. See you in about nine minutes. 